Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video I will be giving you my recommendations for the upcoming Sephora holiday bonus event sale. But before we get started and if you're new here I hope that you will consider to subscribe to my channel and ring the post notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. Also, come and check my Instagram. And now if you want to know what would I recommend for this upcoming sale, then just keep on watching. The holiday bonus event from Sephora, it is here around the corner. This coming week is going to start on November 1st. I'm going to go over details of each tier and when you will be able to shop as well as the percentage off that you will get. But here I am, I'm going to be giving you some of my recommendations of what items they are worth your time, your money, or if you have been eyeing it and you decide to these holidays give you a little treat, then again, I will just give you my recommendations right here. So let's go first with what are the dates, the tiers, and the percentages off. So I'm gonna scoot right here right now and I'm gonna put it right here. So for Rouge members, you get 20% discount. Well, VIBs, they get 15% discount. And now Beauty Insiders, they can use a 10% discount starting from November 7th through the 11th. And you can use the code HOLIDAYSAFE to redeem online and then you can use it as many times as you want to. And this event is on USA, Sephora stores, as well as Canada. Okay, my friends, so now in regards to my recommendations, all of the products that I'm gonna mention here, and pretty much all what is makeup, I have reviewed it. So I will suggest if you wanna see in-depth reviews, see swatches and my you know, inner thoughts about these items, I will suggest to go and check my reviews. Um, but I'm going to be talking mostly about items that they are new releases, things that you may be interested at and you may want to know, are they really worth it? Should I really get it? Um, if you want to see other type of recommendations, like kind of like your daily type of routine, such as, I don't know, brow products or skincare items or hair you know products recommendations i will suggest to check my recommendations from the last sale because right there i go a little bit more in depth about other products that are kind of like cold classic products i should say but here i'm just trying to focus just a little bit more on what is new and what is actually worth to get okay so let's get it started let me get my basket that is down here so just give me a second Okay, so I got my basket right here and it is so heavy, you cannot even imagine. But I think I'm going to start with eyeshadow palettes because there has been a lot of new releases for eyeshadow palettes. So I think um, I want to start right there. So the first palette that I want to recommend is this Naked Urban Decay Honey Palette. Um, this palette right here, it is beautiful. I made a review. This is your palette that yes, you have a lot of neutral tones, but all of them have a yellow undertone to them. So this palette right here, you can actually do a daytime look, nighttime look. Blendability is fantastic. It has this beautiful, again, yellow golden undertone. Each of the shadows, even the matte shades, even those that they are brown, that it makes of this palette very unique, very wearable. So out of all the Urban Decay palettes, um, like I mentioned on my review video, I only own the Born to Run palette, which is a great palette too, and it is actually already on sale um, at Sephora. I think it's almost 50% off, something like that. But anyhow, um, I think this, this one right here is the one that has attract most my attention and even though it seems very common, very neutral, very nudey, I think it is just a gorgeous palette. I have created so many different looks and I just absolutely love them. So this one right here is completely worth it. Also, if you are a person that doesn't like 
to wear too many colors and you're more into the neutral i think this right here will give you beautiful looks not only for daily wear but as well for holidays and then this will take you also into summer shades because of those golden tones and going into the route of the neutral palette i will suggest to maybe take a look at natasha denona viva palette this is an all neutral style of palette so you basically have here your, your neutral shades these are a little bit more of the warmer tones and then a little bit more of cooler tones but this palette right here it is gorgeous and again if you're a neutral lover natasha denona formulation it is i cannot compare it really with any other eyeshadows at least of what i have tried so far and i have tried plenty this eyeshadow formula is amazing. It just blends. The blendability is gorgeous. And I think this palette right here will really um, take you from daytime looks, nighttime looks, a little bit of smoky eyes. But it's so simple, so easy to actually apply, to blend, to create in looks, to bump up your looks. I think it's beautiful. So this one right here is worth the splurge. Now, if we stay a little bit on Natasha Denona's realm, and if you are a little bit more adventurous with your eyeshadows, but you don't wanna be too much, I will say, perhaps get the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. This palette right here, it is gorgeous. It has a bunch of neutral shades right here, but then it has a lot of gold. So if you're if you're like, I think I like the Urban Decay Honey, but I want another formula and I have been eyeing Natasha Denona, this may be a really good option for you. Also, you have two different pops of blue right here. So if one day you feel a little bit more like, you know what, I want to do a little lower lash line blue or just an all over the lid and kind of like smoke it out for, I don't know, New Year's Eve, this palette right here is gorgeous. And now that we have dived into Natasha Denona, I will say that my most beloved palette from Natasha Denona has to be the new Metropolis palette. This is a holiday palette from Natasha Denona. This is a new format for her. And this palette right here, well, this palette right here has an upgraded formulation. There's nothing I mean like if I'm telling you the Natasha Denona formula it is incredible this right here her upgrade it's just it's just a dream and I really love the color story right here this you can have if you see these two ropes right here you basically have kind of like your neutral tones you have a little bit of green and then a little bit of this shade right here greenish color too you have your bronzy tones if you take this right here then it's a little bit more deeper green i mean you can take it in sections if you want kind of like a warmer tone right here of an eye look and then if you want to play a little bit you know just keep it simple you can go with this column right here or you can implement these shades right here and go with a blue one i think this palette right here out of all the ones that i'm recommending right now from natasha denona if i don't was you if i need to buy the palette i will take this one i mean obviously you have to like the color story but like i said right here you have your basic neutral shades then you have a little bit of that bronzy golden tones. You have a little bit more of warmer tones for the fall season. Also that you can take it for summertime. And then if you want to go a little bit more glam, more evening type of look, you have the blue ones, you have these dark green ones. I mean, this palette is just fantastic. I will say out of all Natasha Denona ones, this is it. And if you... If you were to ask me, out of all the palettes that you're recommending right here, give me just one, this will be it. Okay? So that's my that's my summary right there. But I have more here that I will recommend to take a peek at. And I do have two Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes right here that I think they are worth the money. One of them it is the Jackie Aina palette and the other one is the Carly Bible palette. Each of them has different color stories. These eyeshadow palettes, they really represent Jackie Aina and Carly Bible, their style. 
and I think they are just amazing. This right here, it is a little bit more punchy, more out there. It has the purples. I mean, it has a little bit of green, a little bit of like darker tones, a little bit more, you know, strength to them. So this palette right here, I mean, it can stand by its own or you can use it as a auxiliary type of palette for if you have already too many neutral palettes and you want something that it will take you to the next level. This palette is perfection. Now about Carly Bible's palette, this right here is more of your softer, princessy type of look, more like, I mean, you can take it to, you know, nighttime wear, but a little bit more like, I'm not saying that Jackie Aina is not glam, but this one right here is that glam with softness, dreamy type of shades right here. So I think both of these are the ones that they stand out for me from the new releases from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I know there's three Norvina palettes. Those to me are more for those who are makeup artists. I review the first, the volume one. I know there's a volume two and three. The formula is fantastic. If you're a makeup artist, you will get good use out of it. But for a person like me, daily day wear of makeup, I think that two that I will say formula, easy of use, and to be a little bit different and be kind of like, if you have a lot of neutrals and you want something different but reliable, these two palettes right here are amazing. And now let's go to Pat McGrath. Now Pat McGrath, she actually, does various sales throughout the year on her website so you have to kind of keep the lookout for that and this goes for pretty much all the brands that i'm talking right now here um you know you might as well take a peek at them you know different times so if you want to you don't want to grab so many items and you have certain budget you know totally understand and like i said some of these brands right here they have their own website they will be running black friday sales too so i will say you know just balance things out there are products right here that you know like maybe you will not find it on sale say dior Guylain, Givenchy, those items not but some of the brands right here they do have sales so going into pat mcgrath eyeshadows right here i think the big Battleship palettes will be where you save money because you are getting her special formula, her special glitter formula, plus the other satin matte shades right here. So I have here Mothership 5. I love this eyeshadow palette. I think this is the one that I will recommend because you will get the most use out of it. Now, if you're a little bit a dash of adventurous with colors and you want a little bit of a variety, I think the newest one, Midnight Sign, is a beautiful palette because you have this gorgeous bronzy tone right here you have a little purple shade right here you have a green reddish tone so you have you know you have plenty to work with and then you have her special shimmer shades right here or glitter shades bleats shades i should say and now we all know she released for this holiday season never seen before her quads and the quads are basically her bleeds formula the glitters that make Pat McGrath eyeshadows just kind of like so unique right um so I have reviewed all of three but the one that I will say I mean again if you like the color story but for me the one that I will definitely get is this one right here this one it is ritualistic rose and it's kind of like more pinky tone but I think I mean like I said I review all of them the nocturnal nirvana the one that have the blue and the purple it is beautiful but on my skin tone i will get so much use out of it and i have used it many times already this shade right here and i think i mentioned it this shade right here i will just pay this eyeshadow price the 65 dollars just for this shade right here it is gorgeous I actually put it on one of my stories on Instagram and a lot of people, you know, just ask me, what are you wearing? What are you wearing there? And it's this right here. And I actually was a combination between these and then my matte shadows were from Carly Bible. And this palette right here is another type of, you know, kind of like a companion palette to my point of view. You can create a full on 
look with this palette as I did on my review but I say this right here if you don't want to wear you know a full-on eye with glitter shimmer and you want to tone it down and you just want to pop this right here are absolutely amazing Tom Ford released his Soleil Nash collection with three eye quads and I have all of them again I have reviewed all of them if I will have to suggest one I'm pretty sure you know which one I'm gonna suggest, right? <laughs> Maybe you do. I'm gonna suggest Soleil Elune because this is different for Tom Ford. I mean, I have never seen this minty shade right here and yet I have this kind of like bronzy, peachy tone and then I have these other two shades. To me, this quad right here is just amazing, it's worth the money, it is different, it gives me a different vibe, a different everything. So I will highly suggest to, you know, take a peek at these eyeshadow palettes. Now if you're a person that likes more smoky eye looks, then this right here, Soleil Nash, will give it to you. I die for this shade right here. This is a navy shade, it's beautiful. And then last but not least, you just see, if you're a person that likes more just stay into the neutrals in daily basis like you wear your neutrals day and night no matter what then i mean this shade right here soleil de vera this will do for you it is gorgeous and these eye quads right here are his wet to dry formula which are stunning super easy to use now, if you have been wondering about Huda Beauty, I would suggest go with her nude palette right here. This is a beautiful, gorgeous palette. Pretty much a lot of like peaky shades. Um, another take on nudes. They are not your typical brown base nudes. They actually have more of like pink and purple base. It is a gorgeous palette. Now, if you don't want to spend even with a discount, this costs 65, minus the 20%. She has that new Nude Obsessions palette right here. I will suggest to go either with the light one or the medium one. Now, the rich one, it is gorgeous too. You can go with either of them, but if you're trying to kind of like do, you know, something very similar alike to these right here, these two will do. But again, the price difference at that point is not a lot. This costs $29 a piece. And then this costs 65 but I mean if you want just one again I have review all of these right here this is gorgeous this is a beautiful palette right here I love this shade right here it's a killer this shade right here is beautiful too now this palette right here I don't really want to open it because it's all broken <laughs> so but it's right here you may want to go and check my review I just I mean I'm still waiting for my replacement on these and I just made a mess right now now two other releases from Hourglass are the edit palette and this one is the ghost palette I review this one right here I even made like a full on look including eyes just using this one right here and this is what you can do with this palette so it is cost $80 but it's well worth it I really like the color story right here this will definitely is wearable for those who have fair skin light skin light to medium like mine medium skin tone hmm, medium to tan maybe maybe but it is a beautiful palette. Now, if you have too many of these and you want to just skip it this year, I will say it is worth your money if you grab the Hourglass Blush Palette. This is the Ghost Blush Quad and it has four different blushes. They're all beautiful, undeniable Hourglass blushes here just so divine so beautiful so soft now going into the blush section i will say if you want a blush that will stay not forever but all day long with you i will say the buxom wonderlust these are great blushes right here i mean they will last for a long long time also the cover effects monochromatic duo blushes these are gorgeous too i really love the soft peach shade right here this is a beautiful shade but this also comes in different shades a darker tone then there's a pinky tone I think it's called pink dahlia it also comes in bronzer I do have it they are great too and then my favorite bronzer that I have been using it since 
it came out it is jouet and i mean any of jouet they are really good good what did i say bronzer blushes this blush right here this is cheeky summer i'm not sure if it's still available but i will suggest go and check jouet blushes they are top notch they are really good they have a, a subtle sheen to them but it's not too much they are just beautiful now another blush right here that i don't I don't see a lot of people talking about these blushes, but to me they are incredible. I'm talking about the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blush. This blush is so soft, creamy, and it's forgiving in the sense of if you have texture and large pores, it just blends super easy it, and it lasts. It has very nice lasting power to it, it's just gorgeous. And now these, I just review it, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, but I will say, do not walk, run to get them because they will fly out of the shelves. And I'm talking about the new Patrick Ta monochrome moment blushes. And I'm sorry, it's all still full of fingerprints right here. Oh my gosh, this blush right here. This is in the shade, she's seductive. And I, I have another one and believe me, I, I know I need to wait just a few days to get my 20% but I don't care I want to have them all this is a beautiful blush I'm wearing it right now it's gorgeous it's subtle it, it's long lasting it's just incredible like I said Patrick Ta the new blushes run to get them first thing in your basket you will not regret it he has four different shades all of them they look beautiful and now going into some bronzers um i do love my mar jacobs 102 tantric so i know there's the other the other one that comes in the white packaging but for my light to medium skin tone the 102 works the best and this is the one i mean i have been using it for a while and I still have a, a ton so this it's a good value for your money so you get I mean this is an investment but it will last you like forever and now if we go into a bronze blush type of palette Natasha Denona I have been using it since the day it came out I haven't stopped to wear it this is an amazing palette I love absolutely love this bronze shade it looks beautiful on me it gave me a beautiful sun kiss glow. I absolutely love this type of highlighter right here. The cream highlighter here is gorgeous too. I don't use a lot of this shade right here, but for these three, it's amazing. And getting it for 20% off, it's a good deal right here. Don't get me wrong. And then for another bronzer that I have been loving, it is Fenty Beauty. And I got another shade. This is Private Island. I, usually, I used to use Island Teen but now i'm in love with this one this one is kind of like my winter type of shade uh, it's just one shade lighter than island teen i have been loving this one super nice super blendable now um a classic one if you do not want to spend as much on a bronzer as you know like buying an hourglass radiant bronzer i will suggest to go with a becca one and this one right here it is in the shade capri coast this is a beautiful shade right here very complimenting for many skin tones and then as far as highlighter goes i think the one that takes the cake for this year pretty much it is cookie by benefit and i actually have it on this little palette right here i don't know if this palette is still available if it's still available, I will say go for it because you get your Hula bronzer right here, the cookie, but they also are selling it on a single right now and it's perfect. It is a beautiful highlighter, gorgeous highlighter, very nice, blendable. It doesn't leave you a streak of darkness. Um, it is very bright, but it's, you, you can have good control out of it. So you can go light, light handed and it will work phenomenal. And now as far as setting powders go, um, again, I did my I did a recommendations video before, but the one that I will highly suggest for you to get if you have a large pores, if you have texture, um, and if you want um, still to keep your face looking hydrated, you don't want to super modify it, go with Jouer. This is um, in the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. 
I have the shade here light clear as you can tell I have been using it non-stop I absolutely love it it really blurs my pores without uh, taking too much of that beautiful glow from within that I like to have for my makeup look I adore that and then let me jump right here into two products from Tom Ford from this holiday collection that if you love blushes and love highlighters these two right here don't let them pass I did it myself he came out with these sticks and then poof it went out I couldn't find it anywhere and Samantha Robin the Alpha she raved about them and I'm like I cannot get it anywhere and he came out with three I have here this one it is Megere so this is the shade I have reviewed this one this is this right here I'm um, I actually tried it on on a try on of my top four recent purchases it happened just a few days ago so you may want to go and take a look at it oh, this is gorgeous and then I have here the one in Soleil Nash this is another beautiful shade right here this is more corally and a little bit lighter in tone so there you go amazing amazing this one right here I will repurchase re I mean like I will buy it a million times fast that's that now if we go into Charlotte Tilbury's world I will say um, if you want if you don't want to be like okay I need to buy a highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury and then a bronzer and then and then an eyeshadow palette and then a blush then go for this one this is a great palette this is for me the best instant look in a palette that she has done out of all five I think this one right here is the one that really caught my attention and that I actually I try it and I love it everything right here works fantastic for me from the highlighter the eyeshadows the bronzer the blush this is a great palette so if you are wanting to try Charlotte Tilbury and you just don't want to have again the expense of buying so many items from her this will do it now if you really want to invest on a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette I will say definitely go with this one right here this is the starry eyes to hypnotize gorgeous palette gorgeous palette here you get her special formula that kind of like shimmer formula now here you go listen well here you only get three matte shades this one right here which is your neutral tone then this pinky shade right here and then the black one all of the rest they are that formula that makes Charlotte Tilbury's brand special which is kind of like that glistening shimmery shade so if you don't like that then this palette is not for you but if you want to try that formula that comes in the luxury palettes that you're like I really want to see how it looks on me this gives you the best for your money it's 75 dollars a quad costs 50 54 53 something like that this one you get at 75 20 percent off i mean i'm talking about 15 dollars less this is a good palette this is a good palette for a present too i think it's gorgeous and then another thing from Charlotte Tilbury that actually this is existing in her line but I got it with the limited edition packaging oh this is the film star bronze and glow I have been missing it okay listen I have a light to medium skin tone I swear that I this shade right here of bronzer eh, it was not gonna work for me to bronze to contour to nothing I was completely wrong this is the best thing that I have tried in years in the sense of like contouring without leaving a harsh line I'm wearing it right now it looks gorgeous and the highlighter is gorgeous too the only thing that I have to say and call out Charlotte my darling it is that I want the same packaging for the darker tone that wouldn't have been amazing because I mean I'm most likely I'm getting that one too on the sale maybe I will be doing a Kind of my wish list would you like to hear about my wish list i have a lot of things and they are on my wish list and i can go over it with you 
about them. But anyhow, this one right here, whether it's the special packaging, the special packaging is a little bit more pricey, or the other one, I mean, you're talking about they are the same shades, there's no difference on the sense of the product, it's just the packaging. This one has Swarovski Crash Crystals, um, but this divine, divine. You have to continue with the Charlotte Tilbury Real. I have to give it to the Air Flash Flawless Foundation. You don't need a lot to get uh, not only full coverage, but also if you want to keep it on the lighter part, you just need a very tiny amount. It's not cakey. It is extremely good, wearable. It doesn't emphasize texture, pores. I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful foundation. I do have a lot of freckles and believe me, it doesn't cover all my freckles. Now I see people using too much or what they think is normal for, you know, their other foundations. You need very little on this. We, you know, like little, like a quarter, a third of a pump and you will have a beautiful, beautiful foundation day. If we go into more foundations, I will say Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This is something that has been in the market for a long time, a beloved one for many. There's a reason why you want to have a glow to your skin that is not too dewy, you know, too greasy looking, but it still look very natural, healthy. And now the foundation that will not go on sale pretty much anywhere else, it is La Mer. This is the La Mer Soft Fluid. This is my favorite foundation of all times, this foundation. I, I have now two favorite foundations, Glowy, Sisley and La Mer. But this La Mer has been my foundation of choice for a long, long time. And this, again, it's, it's pretty much impossible to find on sale. So if you like this foundation or if you have been eyeing it, this is, this is the time that you can get it for it. I mean, it is very expensive. I wouldn't say for a good price, but at least something that it will not hurt as much as paying, what is it, 120? <laughs> it is expensive, but it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful foundation. Here we're gonna talk about some lipsticks. I do love my Huda Beauty Anniversary lipstick. This is a beautiful formula. It is matte, but not too matte, and it's soft, and it leaves your lips a little bit more plushy. I really love this lipstick right here, and Anniversary is one of the shades that I love the most. It, it goes really well with different looks. It is a nude shape, beautiful lipstick right here. And then as far as another lipstick that I love the formula, it is the Charlotte Tilbury. I, let's see, I have her, I like her Matte Revolution, but I think I like this other formula right here. This is more of like, kind of like a satiny type of formula. And the one that I have right here, it is in Angel Alessandra. This is a beautiful kind of uh, nude corally shade and pretty much any of the hot lips too. They are gorgeous. I did a full on review and I actually lip swatch each of these lipsticks. They are fantastic. And then one that it is super new for me, but I know I have this feeling that they are going to be sold out as soon as people try them is the new Patrick Ta liquid cremes. The lip creams. This I have worn now what two days in a row. I know they are gonna be sold out. They are beautiful. They are comfortable. They are moisturizing. They don't bleed. They they stay on the lips for a long time. They are super easy to wear. That shade, oh, all of the shades. They are wonderful. So these right here, I know, I know that these are gonna be something that a lot of people are going to be talking about so if you want to try it this is a good time as well as if you want something a little bit more mm, you know luxury <laughs> i will say tom four i love the tom four and the one in a specific that i love is casablanca it is beautiful it goes so well with a lot of different looks uh, it just the formula it's gorgeous too it is super like creamy soft wearable i mean like i absolutely love it i love my fenty beauty too the standard lips um lipsticks these are beautiful liquid lipsticks if you like matte 
but that they are not too dry. These are worth every penny. I have every single color I absolutely love. This difference to the Patrick Ta, this is not, this is a cream formula. This right here, it is a matte formula. So this will dry down matte, but it will not make your lips look dry or, you know, like, they, they're just very beautiful smoothing and they are long lasting. I mean, you can eat a greasy meal with this and it will stay on your lips. And now if we go into lip glosses, the new Tom Ford gloss looks amazing. I love this shade in addition and then I do love the shade Aura. This is kind of like more of like a milky nude and this one right here is kind of like more of a darker nude. Not too dark, but a little bit more... You just have a little bit more... I don't know. It's just beautiful, very comfortable. It has a very, various nourishing ingredients, so your lips will feel, you know, nourished and comfortable to wear. And I mean, they are glosses. It's not that they will last a long time, but they are also not the ones that you need to reapply because you know they start to kind of break in a part of the formula. No, this this is a beautiful one, as well as the hourglass one. This is gorgeous. My favorite shades are Sublime, and then I have the other one I have right here somewhere. I promise. Yeah, I do love Sublime, and I also love Solar. This right here is more of like a summer shade, more corally with. Kind of like a golden pearl lice, but if you like something like super simple and in the new tone sublime it's a beautiful shade right here so these are kind of like my favorite glosses right now they are just like bomb there's another glosses that i love but they don't they don't sell it at sephora so we'll skip on those okay and then as far as setting sprays goes i will take i will give it to farsali rose gold this is a beautiful one and then the glow recipe uh watermelon glow this is an ultra fine mist both of them if you don't like that powdery type of you know look on your face but you still need to powder because you know you you may kind of like you want to set your face this right here will bring back to life all your products and just make your skin look like a skin again because you know sometimes it's like you're wearing makeup and you look mad and it looks like even worse so these right here will make your makeup look like a skin again either of them win situation right here and then my favorite mascara that i will say this mascara, there's a lot of videos that I'm not wearing falsies and a lot of people have been asking what are you wearing, some of them have been commenting, you don't need lashes girl, Givenchy mascara, this is, what is this called, this is Black Disturbia, yeah, this right here, it's kind of like wearing lashes but without, <laughs> without the lashes and it doesn't flake, now I will say you can only use this one on your upper lashes, don't use it on your lower lashes. Um, it will not transfer immediately, but if you sweat, it will transfer. But on the on the top ones, you can wear it and it's just volume, length, um, how black it is. It's just like ah, the best. Last, some skincare products that I have been loving and you can get them at Sephora. Um, Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. I do have very sensitive skin, I have dry skin, um, I have texture on my skin and this goes super well under makeup, it's very hydrating. If it's too hydrating for you for nighttime, it is fantastic, I have been loving it. This is, this is a really good moisturizing cream. And now for the eyes, I will highly suggest to go with the Tatcha, the Silk Peony one. This is gorgeous, I mean the packaging, everything goes super well under makeup too. So this is kind of like the daytime and now if you want to use something to help a little bit with the under eye kind of creepiness or you know fine lines that you may be getting, I will suggest the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask right here. This is your nighttime type of cream. This has been wonderful for my eyes and you know I, I have found out that I still have my you know it's not the my under eye, you know, like fine lines, they are not going to disappear, but at least they are a little bit more plump, they are not so obvious and not so drying when I'm using my concealer and all of that. And 
I have to say that these two right here, this duo has been the dynamic duo to help them there. Okay, and last two items are from Laneige. Laneige, the sleeping mask for the lips, it's amazing. I will give it to that. I use it myself. But there's two products that I don't hear a lot of people talking about, but they are absolutely outstanding on the line is this Laneige toner and moisturizer. This right here, it is amazing. If you have dry skin and you need some soothing, you know, at the end of the day when you're taking off your makeup and you're doing a double cleanse and you need to kind of have, you know, that moisturizing property right away, this is incredible. It is beautiful. It leaves your skin gorgeous. And then after your entire um, skincare in the evening, this is uh, amazing sleeping mask and I'm talking about Laneige water sleeping mask this right here it is a game changer it's just you wake up and you feel like you have a baby face it's just so beautiful so moisturizing so I mean it's not heavy either so it will not clog your pores so it's very just it's kind of like lightweight of soothing cooling effect i mean it's just so beautiful so i think those are all my recommendations for this sale so because there are so many items that i recommend on this video please i would love to hear your comments down below let me know if there's something that you have been eyeing that you will also recommend to our audience are you excited for this sale so so again i Say it once again, do not go crazy for the sale. I think it will be good um, to check on the holiday type of, you know, kind of like gift sets because those sometimes give you the most out of your money and get getting them with an actual discount, I think that's kind of like the best deal out of all. But these are kind of like my recommendations on the things that are new that I have been trying and I have been loving. Again, I would love to hear your comments below and I hope that this video serves you in one way or another. And if you haven't done so yet, I have no idea what you're waiting for, but I'm waiting right here for you to look underneath <laughs> this screen right here and look for the red word subscribe <laughs> please subscribe to my channel give me that opportunity i would love for you to be part of my family and for those who have subscribed already to my channel thank you so much for the opportunity thank you so much for your support for all of those who leave comments below thank you so much to each one of you for being part of my family for for just you know that communication i it just really fulfills i mean <laughs> A part in my heart that I, I feel that I, I, I needed that and, and 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 your comments being there, your support means the world to me. And if you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share it with somebody else that may like this type of content. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye bye.